So this stream will be a little bit boring. No. My streams are never boring, but the idea is that this stream will not be such a super cool stream uh, with the whole character making in just an hour and a half. No. We'll try to make this girl from... The concept is from Mavis uh, Ruiz Cruz. Oh, Cruz. And uh, we'll try to do it in like half an hour. Uh, maybe probably a little bit more. Maybe an hour. We'll see. But then we will do some R Station reviews. I don't remember where we are with R Station reviews because we haven't done them in a while. But it's time to do so. So I am just trying to achieve something here as a base, as you can see while I'm talking, which is always what I do. And yeah, it's even amazing for me how I can do this talk and sculpt at the same time. But imagine this, when I was at Gameloft and I was working there and I was sculpting a character with a full armor, whatever, kind of a complica complicated character. And I was always talking with uh, my colleague and friend who is also doing a character at the same time so we were always talking about stuff about anything about stupid things but we were talking constantly so probably from that time i kind of my brain has rewired so i can do this you know now i pressed h which means i hit the object and since i know that i pressed h i haven't panicked that much that my object disappeared but if you don't know that if you don't know that pressing h will hide your object then you probably would panic but the idea is that when you rewire your brain at some things for example you learn a new language your brain rewires you learn uh, the map of london for example uh, because you have to be a cab driver and if you want to be a black cab driver in London, you have to learn every street in London, which is uh, not a small feat to achieve. And this rewires your brain also. So everything kind of rewires your brain. And when you rewire your brain mm, the, to talk and sculpt at the same time, then you can be like me. But the more difficult thing is to sculpt correctly and to sculpt nice nicely so correctly and nicely and then fast and while talking probably yeah. i guess to, uh, to sculpt mm, the quality is be before quantity quality is more important important by the way today i got from the guy who is printing my things i got uh two figures which are again the let me see what is what you see okay this guy who is the viking guy which is from my course from one of my courses and i have to paint him uh gray because this way it doesn't you, you cannot see all the details quite well and this is the demon huntress the demon huntress and this time with uh, not broken sword because the first demon huntress that I have is with a broken sword here It's broken. So it's not as good But we'll see I will have to spray them gray and See what happens But now let's concentrate on our sculpt. What do we need to do? We need to do some eyebrows at some point probably in the sake of quickness I will do the eyebrows not separate mesh just you know from the same mesh which should be okay but we'll see the nose has kind of a straight line in here which is very characteristic of this girl i mean the girl who made the concept the name is mavis ruiz cruz mavis ruiz cruz ruiz cruz mavis ruiz cruz mavis ruiz cruz probably something like this and she's, um, I have made her concept here in the channel, or in the other channel, I think. She's pretty good. I like a lot the style, and it's pretty nice to sculpt because it's kind of a stylized, with a big stylization. Mm. 
And it's not only good for sculpting, it's also good for learning. Because she obviously is good with shapes, she is good with anatomy. So we can learn a lot from her. This probably should be the girl from the Queen Gambit. But it's not looking too much like her. Maybe some kind of different version. Not exactly the actress who is now playing Furiosa in the latest Mad Max franchise movie. I don't remember the name of the girl. But the series Queen Gambit is pretty good. I would say it's a very nice show. If we can say a TV show. In Bulgaria we don't say TV show. We say serial. Which means TV series. Serial. So that's why I'm a little bit confused sometimes when I speak about TV series. And I have to call them TV shows. I'm a little bit like, hmm. I don't know. Eyes. Okay, she doesn't look quite like the concept yet, but we have time, I think. We are six minutes into this, so we have more time. We'll be able to do something that's resembling at least her. The concept, I mean. Not the girl from the series. Yeah, we have to fix the nose a little bit, we have to fix the cheeks. We have to fix a lot of things. It's, it's not easy to make those concepts alive. But, it's not about easy, of course. If it was easy, everybody could do it. Everyone would have a YouTube channel in which they would do stuff like this. But, since it's not easy... Not all people have it. I'm watching this guy uh, who is eating food. <clears throat> so everybody can eat food. But he's eating a little bit more than most people. His name is Beard Meets Food. Because he has a beard. And he meets food in every episode. In his YouTube channel. And he he's one of the best competitive eaters. Maybe in the world. Not the best though. But one of the best. And he's going into different food challenges in in America, I mean United States, also in other countries, mostly countries who speak English, so United States and England, mostly, but other countries too. So he's good at that. Everybody can eat, but he's one of the best. So that's why it's interesting to watch him. He's eating so much food in one sitting that this food probably will be enough for me, and I'm not a small guy, for a week. Kind of, not probably a week, but a couple of days I can eat and it will be enough for me. Maybe 10 days or... No, not 10. 5. 5 days. Most likely. Okay, we have this. Now, the lips should be a little bit bigger. Stronger, faster, scooter, we go in faster, harder, scooter. So guys, you're asking some questions, I guess, but don't, don't ask questions. Because I am concentrated a little bit now, when I see that the model is starting to get along, I will start answering probably some questions, but for now, I am... Uh, Concerned that it's not going well. And that's why I'm not watching the questions at all. I'm concentrating here on the model itself. Concentration is needed in order to be able to do something. But yeah, we'll do it. It's not an issue at all. I have done way more complicated things than that for an hour. So I guess we'll be able to do it pretty quickly. Now the hair. Uh, as you can see, I am kind of putting some mm, basic hair things without too much to worry too much about the details. And that's very important in the beginning when you start doing something. 
not to worry about the details that much, worry about the overall shape and then the details there will come. Overall shape is the most important thing. Everything else is like, you don't need, you don't need that. Overall shapes you need forever. When I put the hair, now I see some things that I haven't seen before. Some unseen things, which is good. And again, I have practiced this girl doing, uh, I mean, sculpting her, not doing her. I have practiced it once, I think the day before yesterday. So not today. Today I haven't practiced uh, her, but I practiced sculpting today. So I may be uh, kind of a fast. Every day when you wake up, you are slightly worse in everything than the day before, except sleep. You are a little bit better in sleep because you just practiced it. But everything else, your sculpting or your maths or whatever, you haven't practiced for a while, for a couple of hours. So your brain needs refreshment. That's why we make practice sculpts every day in the beginning of the day before we start work, we do some practice sculpts. So, yeah. I have some very interesting number calling me now, and I will answer. Hello. Здрасте. Аха, това е твой телефон. Да, нямам в момента възможност обаче да говоря. Дай след два часа някъде. Се чуем. Добре, окей. Чао за се. Now you heard how Bulgarian language works, how it sounds like, you know. And yeah, since this is a stream, not a course, if I was recording a course right now, I would just pause the recording, answer the call, and then, you know, play the recording again. But uh, since this is a stream, I had to tell the guy that we will hear ourselves like in a two hours or something similar but we'll see so what's happening with you guys how are you speed the speed is good Bulgarian sounds great <laughs> every language sounds great Bulgarian is just another language it's nothing <clears throat> too much although it's much more complicated than English Probably more complicated than Spanish also. For me, no. But for foreigners, Bulgarian is not the most easy language in the world, I would say. But Russian is the same. I guess Russian, Bulgarian, it's kind of similar. They are kind of similar. So the neck should be thinner. Thinner. Then we will have some sternocleidomastoid muscle. Then we will have some clavicle, a little bit of a bump in here. Then we will have something that will look like shirt. Let's see if we can do this shirt. All right, because it's a bust. We should be fine with just a piece of shirt like this. And then, hmm, let me see. I have to color her, by the way, which will take some time, but how much time? Okay, 15 minutes. We have hair, we have face. Uh, not the best hair, not the best face, but still we have something which is good. Because we, we are not in a zero frame unless something crashes for example i will save this just quickly as untitled for example if obs crashes because i'm recording and streaming now with obs if it crashes uh, we will not lose it because i will make another stream most likely but if blender crashes now i have safe so we are safe from all those things i guess so we can be fine. But Nico, why doing redhead serve you Snape? 
Hmm, I'm not sure that she will agree with you, the girl. But if you say so, it's fine. Yeah, I understand. Um, I also try to be interesting sometimes. Try to make myself interesting. And it's fine. It's absolutely fine. I understand that. I can relate to that, you know. I can relate to everybody. Almost everybody. I usually... It's difficult for me to relate to stupid people. Sorry. Uh, but this is everyone... I mean, even stupid people, they don't know that they are stupid. So I may be stupid, but I don't know that. And that's sometimes a problem. Yeah. Nobody can know that it's stupid, you know. Although, there are people probably who are smart enough to know that they are not very smart. But that's not stupid. Stupid is when you don't know you're stupid and you think you're the smartest. And that's... Uh, that's not good. Not good at all. Okay, now, let's make some eyes. And she will start to look more like the concept when we put the eyeballs inside. And also when we do the eyebrows. Eyebrows are one of the things that will make her look a bit better. Now, you will notice that she has huge eyes. So, yeah, huge eyes is needed to make huge eyeballs because usually when you have a normal human eyes the eyeballs will be smaller than the eye than, than the eyes themselves but in this case we'll have also huge eyes eyeballs because of the huge eyes eyeballs will be huge also mirror and then subdivision surface modifier and the subdivision surface modifier let's put it at three and let's see what happens okay it's not ultra bad Let's continue by just oop, no, not rotating. I didn't make the ears, by the way. And some people will say, but Nico, you haven't made the ears because they are not visible. When in 3D, you make all the things that are visible and you kind of don't make the things that are not visible because it's a waste of time usually. Except in some cases when you need to make those things who are, which are not visible because they will be visible at some level. For example, for a game character, you don't need to make something under his shirt, but if he will take out, take off his shirt at some point in the game, then probably you should do it. So, you know, any case is, every case is kind of different by itself, we may say. The lips, we have to pay attention to the lips because they are pretty important part of our character and our in identity of our character lips are kind of a big part but if Mabis who made this concept if she mm, had tried to make the girl from the Queen Queen Gambit to make some likeness of her uh, I would say it's not success but it's a good concept of a girl with orange hair it's not actually red i'm lying in the description of the video not the description but the title of the video yes i admit it because i don't usually lie but in this case i lied it's not a red hat it's orange hat but since the term is red hat even for orange hats then i would say we are kind of fine and if somebody is not fine with this ah then i'm sorry not really sorry, but I'm saying that I'm sorry, and it's fine. There was a comment, by the way, which was kind of nice comment. Somebody said in the comment that uh, they think that I am a better person than Grassetti, for example. But in order to say that, you have to know both of us. So you have to know me, and you have to know Grassetti much better than just from from the channel, you know. Because I can be someone in the channel, but in real life, I can be somebody completely different. Probably not completely different, but I can be a much worse person. For example, I maybe am torturing little dogs and kittens in my basement for fun. For example, I could be. Yeah, I'm not exactly, but 
maybe, who knows. So you never know who is the guy unless you kind of know him better. Just from YouTube, just what you see, probably it's not the, the whole truth. The whole truth. Truth. Yeah, English language is amazing. You write truth, but you read true. What is happening? What is happening with the English language? English. So she, uh, her eyebrows are almost as mine. So almost one eyebrow, but not quite. So she's fine. She's safe because her eyebrows are not one. But almost, I would say. So we'll see. Exactly. Everybody has skeletons in his closet. As you see, as you say in Russian. Uvsem skeleto ne uvsem. Uvsek svoi skeleti v shkafu. Yeah, uh, my Russian is not that good. I can understand it, but I it's difficult for me to speak it quite well. Lack of practice, maybe. I have to go to Moscow. It's a super cool city with a lot of things to see. And recently I understand that it's possible to visit Moscow through Turkey. I have to go to Istanbul. And then from Istanbul, I can catch a flight and go to Moscow. Moscow. And probably they will arrest me because I've talked some things about Putin. Which I will not take back. Because, you know, in my understanding, he's a monster, but I like to see Moscow. Anyway, because Moscow, in my opinion, is not Putin. But who knows? Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe Moscow is Putin. <gasps> what? Putin. Mm. Okay, we have it. Uh, how much time? 22 minutes. Hmm. We have to... Uh, Bump it up a little bit because, yeah, probably a little bit of a color and we will be done with this and we can continue with something else. With the R-Station reviews, because Russian Mafia is pushing me. Russian Mafia said, you will never be able to visit Moscow because you will never be alive if you don't do R-Station reviews. And that's why we have to do some R-Station reviews today. They told me that uh, they will make sure that I will never visit Moscow and even if I visit Moscow, it will be the last visit of my life. Ever. Everywhere. So I'm a little bit concerned about my safety. That's why we will do our station reviews. That's just the, 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 basically the reason. By the way, in order for this to become a little bit better, I will put 5 minutes and you will see. Uh, hopefully it will take me 5 minutes. But you will see what I mean in just a few Seconds, let me just... Okay, what I will do is, I will get a plane. I will put it like this, I don't care. I will put it like this, and then I will make it smaller, like this. Okay, this plane is a kind of good plane. It's not the best plane ever, I would say. It's kind of a fine plane. Let's say it's fine plane. I haven't done it very well, but it's fine. It's this plane. Okay, I'm stupid, but it's fine. Uh, it's this plane. Okay, now, control R, and we will get a lot of things inside the plane. Uh, okay, okay. Now, now we will do a little bit of this, and a little bit of this, and we will take this. I don't know if this will take five minutes, but hopefully it will. We will see this thing, and then we'll do this. And then I will select them and scale them down. It's fine. So we have this here. We will select this and maybe this and shift D, put it here. Oops, no, I don't like this. Okay, I have to concentrate so I don't speak. 
too much when I'm concentrating. Now I am concentrated a lot. So be afraid. Be very afraid. <laughs> no, don't be afraid. This is just a concentration, so it's fine. So let's try to do something here very interesting. Let's select those areas here and rotate them and then try to do something like this. Yeah, you see, it's uh, it's giving us a little bit more interesting view of the character. It's fast, but it's it's nice. It's not the best though, but it's better than without it, I think. We'll see. Hopefully, it will be better than without it. I will try to inflate this, it doesn't happen. I will try to pinch it backwards, so this will be a little bit of a different thing, but let me see. G, and this is kind of a like this. It takes time, but I think it's worth it. I hope it is. Because it's not, if it's not... Yeah. Sometimes, in order for something to look good, you have to put time into it. Nothing can... Um, you cannot avoid it, we may say. If you can, you're fine, but usually you can't. You can't. Maybe, yeah, uh, if I was English speaker, native English speaker, I would say, you can't. You just can't do it. But, since I'm not, I would say you can't. <laughs> it's, you can't, or you can't. You can't, can't, whatever. So, let's see, she has a, a little bit of smaller upper portion of the head in the sculpt compared to the concept, so we have to fix it. We have to make the hair a little bit bigger on the back side here. All right. And it's Homa time. No, it's a coloring time, I would say. So let's try coloring a little bit. So this color for the head and the neck would be appropriate, I guess. Then a little bit reddish or a little bit more red for certain parts like the nose and the lips. Maybe in order. In order. Also cheeks and here. And maybe some orange we can put here and there. Why not? Let's do this. And now we can select this color, which is mixed, and just put it kind of everywhere. Because this is now our color. Our color. Okay, here we can make it a little bit lighter in some areas, like the front of the nose. Uh, it's a cheating, but it's fine. We can cheat a little bit, it's it's cool. Then, uh, kind of a this darkish color for the eyebrows. Hmm. I'm not super convinced about the eyebrows, but still. Yeah, okay. I would say, fine. No. Let's go and make a dark color for the eyelashes. And here we'll have some eyelashes in the bottom too. But mostly in the top area. And then eyes. How to do the eyes? It's very, e very easy. Oops. First we have to apply the subdivisions. Then we have to go and make this. This is the overall think of the eye. Then she will have some uh, eyes which are kind of a gray, uh, no gray, but green. Kind of a green, yellowish, interesting eyes. So let's do this. Okay. And now in the middle, 
it's kind of black so it's fine but we need some whitish color like this in order to make oops this and then i have to apply the mirror modifier apply it then go here and add this and this yeah, it's i would i cannot say it's perfect it's far from it but it's never gonna be perfect for this amount of time uh, and that's a little bit of a lesson if you want it to be perfect you have to spend more time doing it if you want it to be uh, relatively fine you can spend less time doing it that's your uh thing that you can get away from this And the hair, let's make it orange. This orange probably will be nice, okay. Okay, our girl became a little bit more mad than the girl in the picture. Which is, I don't know why exactly. But let's put some shadow. and see shadow on the wall dun 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 okay i don't uh, i don't want to do too much anymore so okay half an hour we can say half an hour and we have done we are done it's cool it's looking great now <laughs> it's almost great uh let me answer some questions and then ooh not screen world Okay, world is fine. I mean, world is looking good. It's looking pretty good. Yeah, from the back, not so much, but from the front, she's looking relatively fine. We can do some more work on the jaw and other stuff, but overall, it's fine. Okay, yes. Okay. Are you using a drawing tablet? Yes. Ah, so I have always have to say, because every video people are asking me in the comments, are you doing this with the mouse? No. I mean, I could. But I'm not a masochist. I'm not a guy who wants to hurt himself, hurt himself uh, for pleasure. I'm not like that, so it's fine. Kardeshim Nico, merhaba, merhaba. But Nico, you're better, you're far better, good-looking than Grasetti. Really? That's that's very subject subjective. I may think that Grasetti is better looking than me, although he's a little bit slim, but it doesn't matter. Slim is better uh, for your health than fat. I'm not fat in any case, especially now I'm training uh, twice a day. <laughs> My training is 30 push-ups. Then I go to do pull-ups in a bar outside. Even if it's snowing, even if it's a minus, I don't care. I go, I do pull-ups. How many pull-ups I do? About 20, but not at one time. Eight, then I rest, then eight, then I rest, and then I do eight if I can, because the last is a little bit like uh, you're tired and then in the evening i do 30 35 more push-ups and that's it that's my training so it's not too much but still you know ah proficient from 2d to 3d good rigging with good reforms takes an infinite one yes hey speech i'm inspiring 3d artist sculptor i really enjoy your work they are extremely expressive to me good to catch you live i love listening to your insights thank you i appreciate it Nice, I like it. Good. Depends on what you plan to do. For example, substance paint to use CPU when baking textures. Yes, I guess. I'm not sure. We have to check it. Are there periods that you get bored with sculpting and want to do something else like coding? No, there is no period like this. I always like to sculpt, but sometimes I'm bored with all the computer stuff and I like to do something else. So I watch TV shows. For example, now I'm watching Suits. I was watching The Office, but now I'm watching Suits. Because the first episode of Suits, the first episode, was a little bit like, meh, in to the middle of the episode. And then it became a little bit interesting. Then the second episode was very interesting. And then I got hooked. This is a, this is a uh, kind of a show, a TV show, Suits, uh, which is addictive. It's addictive. So we have to be careful with those things. Then if we are addicted to this, we cannot do so much of sculpting or streaming or courses or whatever. 
So yeah, I'm working in Blender. Please don't stop the stream. I'm not stopping a stream. I have to do our station reviews, but there is time for that. Uh, this stream will be an hour and a half at least. Nico, just finish it watching your head sculpting course. My face sculpts are improved so much. Thank you for that. Thank you. That means uh, so much for me to you know to be useful. Nikola Kaktan is a chill garage clevishi black kiste. I don't know what what kiste is. So uh, this guy is asking me how did I put hotkeys, but for what? I don't understand exactly. But hotkeys in Blender are very easy to do. Ah, uh, for for the brushes probably. But most of the brushes are fine. I mean, when I'm using brushes, you know. You go to the draw brush, for example, because I want the draw brush to be something, and I go and uh, assign shortcut, and then press the key. Then I go to the second, which is draw sharp, and I go to change shortcut because I assigned it. So I assign shortcuts to only like four or five brushes. That's it, and everything that I do is recorded and made as a video. And uh, how to start working with Blender with tablet? I think it's called the video. And it's in my other channel. It's absolutely free. You can go there. I'm making also uh, a woman's head, but a little bit more realistic in this video. And I'm showing you how I set up my blender for sculpting. So, yeah. I love your work. Would you recommend a board and a pencil to use? I recommend one by Wacom because it's cheap and it's working and I'm using it. And I am uh, I have like five of them at least because it's so cheap. It's like sometimes you can find it for less than $50. So yeah, second hand. You don't need to buy it uh, brand new. Uh, usually second hand they will be uh, not used at all. Somebody gave somebody for the birthday and they are not using it, they are selling it. Second hand. Did you, did you have long hair when you was young? Not so much. Uh, but longer than this, definitely. I had like this with a, with a haircut here and everything, but not so much now. Nico, show us your tablet. I have to unplug it to show you, but it's it's here. And also in my other channel, I have a video about the tablets, all the tablets that I've used and why I'm using this tablet now. I have a video in my other channel. I'm a newbie. How can I be freelancer, sculptor? Any tips? You have to first become not newbie. That's the first thing you have to do. So you have to become more than advanced. You have to become no. It's it's a it's a beginner. Intermediate, advanced. You have to become advanced, which will take years, at least one year, if you work 10 hours every day. But if you work less than 10 hours, so more than one year. And then uh, you will post in our station. Suddenly your post will start to go to trending because people will start to recognize them. And then people will uh, kind of notice you and you will start getting probably job offerings. I'm loving the classes I took from Brazil. Do the courses have subtitles? No, my courses doesn't have subtitles, although yesterday I received a mail, email from, from some Koreans. They said they want to translate my Udemy page of one of my courses to Korean. So we have to clone the course and then I will give access to them and they will translate it to Korean. I asked Udemy specifically for this, if it's a scam. They said it's legit, so we will clone it. And my absolute beginner zebrish course will be in Korean. At least they will translate the overall front page. And the subtitles, subtitles, I think they are already there. I'm not sure. Do you need to do specific things to make the model ready for printing or just deliver the high poly? Usually I just deliver the high poly. But uh, now I started to work on the Goro character because, you know, the Goro which was a stream from almost three weeks ago. But the Goro became one of my top videos in this channel. It has more than 100,000 views for less than three weeks. And it's uh, it's crazy. And the character itself became... It's, it's pretty good. So I would probably 3D print it for me just to keep it here because it will look amazing as a figure with the, with the four hands. Probably I have to think of something to do a little bit uh, asymmetrical for the arms, but we'll see. Breaking Bad is a really good show. Yeah, Breaking Bad is one of the best. This is awesome. Love your stream. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, what do you think about my channel? 
Nobody knows. Большое спасибо за ответ. Я да, про кисти спрашивал. Кисти, maybe is brushes. Yeah. Have you any experience with burnout? Have you some advice? I don't have an advice for burnout. Burnout is happening to everybody. Especially if you have a long project and you are working, working, working. At, at the end, you will burn out. That's inevitable. Probably a rest will be in order. Your brain needs to have a long rest. Probably one week at least. One week is the minimum, in my opinion, after a burnout. And then you have to start fresh, doing some, uh, if you can afford it, to start fresh and doing some projects which you like, not what you have to do. And at some point, probably it will disappear, but yeah. Sometimes it can be, I think in some people, can be even longer to recover from a burnout, but I don't know. Greetings from Cuba. Yeah, Cuba is here. I find it interesting that you can talk for such a long time about anything and still be entertaining. That's a skill I wish I had. Yeah, I guess, but there are more entertaining people than me, I'm sure. Uh, there are a lot of channels I've seen. It's difficult, especially when you're alive, to talk that much and be still interesting. Uh, and those people who are making videos like Who's the Boss, Mr. Who's the Boss or Jerry Rick Everything, I watch them all the time because they are so entertaining. But why? This is mostly because of the um, manipulation after. I mean, the, the combining of the videos, the cutting and everything. So the editing of the videos afterwards. I don't do that, usually, except for my other channel. Then I do a little bit of editing, but in this channel, it's only streaming, only streams. So I don't do that. Everything is completely real time, completely live. So it's cool. So it's not a screen tablet you're using. No, screen tablets, in my opinion, could be, could be fine if you have the money. But in my opinion, they're not worth it. Because I and many other artists that I know, which are very good, they're using just cheap tablets. The tablet is not the skill. The skill is not the tablet. So the tablet doesn't matter that much. Whatever tablet you can find, you can learn and increase your skill and the skill is what what matters, not the tablet. The tablet is just the, the, just a tool. With better tablet, you will not be better yourself. That's not the case. Nico, this is my favorite t-shirt so far. Oh, this t-shirt is, yeah, it's crazy bad looking, but still it's nothing to, I mean, my face is uh, popping up a little bit more, I think. <laughs> Do you have any advice on how to get your first job and project in 3 character design? Not too much. My only advice that I always give is get good and post in our station often. Often I mean every three months because three months is usually the time that you need to make a good project, to make it uh, almost to perfection based on your skill level. But And also every project which lasts three months for one character, it will improve your skills. And then the next project will be better and the next project will be better. And then you will delete the old projects. You will leave like three or four. And this way your art station will grow a little by little. And then you will become a little bit famous. Like me. I'm a little bit famous because I have 17,000 17, subscribers in our station or followers in our station. Followers. 17,000. It's not too much because I've seen people with more than 90,000. 90, 100,000, it's, there are not too many people with 100,000, but whatever, because most of the people in our station are artists, so, yeah, her face is a little bit fatter, probably, I tend to do that, and also, when you're doing 3D, and you have shadows, usually that can happen, you know, a little bit fatter, because these things here, uh, she didn't make them, but whatever, it's fine. Love you, Nico, that's all. Thank you. Nico, if you could do back to past exactly before you start 3D and change one thing, what it could be? I would probably start making courses earlier. But um, yeah, if I can go back with the current skills that I have, uh, the current knowledge that I have, I probably will be the best 3D instructor out there because I would start earlier and I would have all the experience that the others don't have. But that's just uh, in in the time machine stuff, which is imagination. But it's fine to imagine that things. It's fine. I found a board uh, for around $50. X-Pen, Deco, Pen, Tablet. It's fine. X-Pen is fine. 
Wacom Pro around. Yeah, nobody is talking about Pro. Wacom has a lot of models and the cheaper ones are pretty cheap. It's good to post whips on our station. Mm, not so much. Have you tried doing... I mean, uh, try to do something else. Post whips on DeviantArt. Post whips on Instagram. But in our station, try to post only very nice and good renders. And models. Nico, did you teach yourself English? I'm trying by speaking it. but And by watching English. I'm watching all the TV shows that I watch uh, are only in English. Which English with English subtitles. So, I'm constantly hearing English. So, I'm trying. Nico, did you teach... Yeah, uh, Hello, Nico. Did you work with some companies or you're a freelancer? I have worked in Gameloft for 15 years. And now I'm just freelancing and uh, relaxing. Opinion on Huion. I don't have opinion on Huion or Xpen, but people say they are fine. The only thing I have opinion on is uh, Gaomon tablets, which are not that often don't know that you cannot find them that much but they send me once a gaumon tablet to test and to review in youtube to make advertisement for it but it didn't work for me quite well so i didn't <laughs> i didn't do it it's just that x pen is a little bigger than the wacom cool how i can improve my time management in modeling i don't know you just have to model your english is superb uh, it's not quite but yeah you speak English better than me, a native speaker. I wouldn't go that far, but still, yeah, I'm trying. <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. Uh, uh, you know, sometimes in English, many times, you don't say the R. You say, you, I wouldn't go that far. But in our language, we have a very hard R. So, if somebody is speaking English with a huge Bulgarian accent, they will say R every time. So. We wouldn't go that far. Will be. We wouldn't go that far. We wouldn't go that far. And I've heard people speaking like that. It's a little bit funny to me. To me. And I'm saying to me. But I probably shouldn't say to me. Has to, to me. To me. I don't know. It's, it's difficult. There are certain very slight things that I still cannot do in English. But whatever. It's understandable. And that's the most important important thing. Love your courses, Nico. Your courses has taught me more than university ever has. I've heard that by, before from other people, so it's it's very flattering for me. I'm flattered. You know, it's warm for me here that uh, people, when they say that, Hello, Nico. I don't have an art station, but I would like to review my work on YouTube channel. It's called Ojo Studio. Ojo Studio. You could have a very nice Spanish accent. I probably could, yeah, but uh, I don't know Spanish that much. Oh, Ojo Studio. Let's see. <laughs> Ojo Studio. Uh, I don't know if we can find it. Ojo Studio. 5k subscribers. Hmm. I would say not bad at all. From this to this, from this to this, it's a it's a pretty good, especially this one. Let's see, amazing. Everything in Blender. So people are asking me, can you do realistic uh, people in Blender? Obviously, obviously you can, and this is a very good job. I don't know if I can do this kind of very nice head. But I can probably. I just don't spend too much time in doing uh, one head. Uh, when I reach a certain level, I just jump to another one. That's why I'm so good to start from Sphere. Because I start from Sphere very often. But it's a, it's a very nice thing. Yeah, Even I can learn a lot from your channel. So keep up the good work, I would say. Many people. Do you still have a day job? No, I don't have. English is not phonetically consistent. Uh, probably. Blender. I'm using Blender since two years ago for everything. I stopped using ZBrush. I started using only Blender exactly two years ago. Before that, I was using Blender just for hard surface modeling, just for fixing models from ZBrush. 
low poly, only the low poly. I haven't used it for modeling that much, for sculpting, I mean. And two years ago, I started using it only for sculpting and for everything, actually, for absolutely everything. So let's go, go to the art station reviews because we have to. Sorry, guys, we have to. Our station portfolio reviews. So, if you don't know how to post a portfolio for the Our Station portfolio reviews, you just have to go to my Discord server, and there is a channel there, and I will show you just now. But I'm just scrolling because I cannot find where we were last time. But somebody in the chat, I don't remember quite well. I'm sorry, but somebody told me that I have to just. Uh, Put a thumbs up on the already reviewed things and we will be fine. So, we'll have to find my last thumbs up and we will be fine. There are a lot of reviews, by the way. This looks pretty good. Yeah, this is from my other stream. Yeah, people are doing the things on the stream, but they're doing it by themselves, which is great because this kind of... It's good. Let's say this guy. I think we have seen him before, but we can see him again. Let's we'll see what, what is this. This is Murat Khan Unai from Turkey, uh, of course. And yeah, let's see Batman. Batman is not bad. The render is good. The turntable is fine. Uh, and the sternocleidomastoid muscle is good. Here, the sternocleidomastoid mastoid is a little bit not not a little bit curved and distorted because of the rotation then you have to resculpt it that's uh, the thing but overall not bad not bad let's see other things so what can we improve in this portfolio for example we can remove certain things for example things that are like this uh, just heads uh, just ears and practices they are not needed here uh, we can remove them. Also, when you have already done some things by yourself, you can remove the portfolio pieces. So this is another portfolio, the the lesson piece. So, so this is from my female anatomy course, and it's a good model, but it's from a course, so it's not a good idea when you have other models already made by yourself from certain concepts which are not from a course. And when you have them, you don't need the course models anymore. You can kind of hide them from your art station, like the Captain Fox also, this guy from male, male anatomy course probably. But when you have this, which is already a pretty good model, I would say, and if you do a low poly for this, you have done a low poly for this? Let's see, no. Or this is the low poly? Is it the low poly? Yes. So, very cool. We have a high poly, we have a low poly, we have even a pose, we have UVs, we have textures. So, this is a good one, but uh, the all these ones has to go. You need to leave only the best uh, recent things that you have done. This guy is looking kind of fine. This has to go, this has to go, this has to go, this has to go. Uh, maybe everything from here to the last one has to go. Maybe this girl you can keep, but the others, they just have to be hidden. You don't have to delete them. You can hide them from view, uh, so the other people will not see them. They will still be there, but nobody will see them, which is fine. I have things that I have hidden from my portfolio because I don't think they're good enough. They will lower the level of my portfolio if I keep them. And also, this thing on the top, you have to refresh it. And that's it. But it's cool. This portfolio is nice. Let's see, Dennis. Ooh. Dennis is from Russia and he's doing kind of a animation things. Very stylized and uh, cartoony things. And he's doing them, I would say, pretty well. Uh, the only thing that I'm a little bit concerned about is the background of all these things, which is kind of gray. And they don't pop up that much. Maybe with white background or a little bit lighter background they could be better but i'm not sure it's just a suggestion overall this portfolio looks very consistent because uh, everything is in the same background which is great we see a lot of 
very nice models and we like it. So we like this portfolio. I'm not sure about this upper thing here. If it's, it, it's a drawing, but uh, if it's nice to have a drawing since you are a 3D artist as a main picture, I'm not sure. Probably a mix between the best models here in a nice background would be better, in my opinion. But yeah, it's fine. Let's thump it, thump it up. How many languages do you know? I know only, we may say I know three languages. Bulgarian, which is my mother language. English, obviously I kind of know English. And the second, the third one is Russian, which is pretty close to my mother language, which is Bulgarian. And Russian I know, which means I can understand quite well. About 75-80% of Russian I can understand. Maybe I'm not right, but usually I can understand it. But I cannot speak it quite well, so yeah. Spanish I can understand a little bit if people are speaking very slowly, like Colombians, for example. If they are speaking like um, Cubans, I maybe will not be able to understand them. How many coding languages do you know? <laughs> uh, uh, I know something which is not exactly a language. I knew. I don't know it anymore because I haven't practiced it, but HTML and CSS I was kind of familiar with that. I was coding pages. I was making pages from scratch, HTML pages, for uh, for uh, for the internet. I was making pages when I was young. I was writing them from scratch. But HTML is not exactly a language. It's a script something. It's very easy. It's nothing like uh, Java or C++ or something. It's not, not even close. Hola, Nico, como estas? Muy bien. Hello, Nikolai from Russia. I want to know about the micro detail in the blender. I saw already building brushes for this in Brizzybrush and how to do it in blender. The micro detail in blender, I don't advise you to do it because blender is a program which is a real 3D program and it doesn't support that many polygons. So be careful with the micro detail. Nice 3D. I love this style as styles. Yeah, it's very nice, by the way, this guy, this portfolio with those um, animation things. Very, very cool. Can you make 3D sculpting course for anime character? Probably, I have to try. But I have to find a very nice concept for that. Uh, so, suggest concepts in uh, suggestions for streams. Here. Here you can suggest concepts. Somebody suggested this guy. And I don't know why somebody would want to, to sculpt this ugly guy. But, yeah. Those guys, by the way, here are... Uh, the most famous Bulgarian heroes. Yeah, you see uh, two guys with uh, dirty clothes, but they are the most famous Bulgarian heroes from uh, back in the days where we were uh, in, uh, in Ottoman rule, we may say. So those guys are from there. This is from suggestions from screams, <laughs> screams for streams and Ridor, Ridor Ray Studio has made those, this suggestion. We are not giving uh, people credit for suggestions that much, but if you want to suggest something, you can always do it here. And try to keep it like, those are suggestions for streams. For example, this one is very nice. I probably will do it. And to not forget, I will just do this. No, I will open it and drag it here. This program, by the way, which I use uh, for references, most of you know which it is, but it's called Pure Ref and it's pure gold. It's free. And you just can put so many things. I'm just dragging. For example, I was doing this for my daughter. I was doing Goro, uh, which was one of my best videos in this channel. Uh, and uh, this girl today, the orc I was sculpting after Goro. I probably will do this in some stream, but it will be difficult. This one I did on a stream. This one I haven't done, I think, but I should. It's looking very nice and many many others ah i have this already here uh, so yeah i have it twice but let it sit here and we will do it at some point so yeah suggestions for streams but let's go to our station portfolios and uh, where we are now i don't know we have to go and find where we were because this discord it doesn't keep where we were 
Oh, no, 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 no. We are far down. Far down. Because we passed September. Now, this is from uh, August. And we are, I think we passed September already. So this was before I started to thumbs up. Yeah, now those are with thumbs ups. And those are without. So we are here. So we are in 21st of September. We are very far back uh, with the portfolios, you know. Hmm. HTML, CSS is Turing complete. So they are two together. Really a program and language. <laughs> Probably. Can you make a 3D sculpting course for anime characters? Like anime anatomy. I don't know. But someday. Is it possible to open two windows on sculpt mode? Two port on a single blender run? Mm, you can do this. You go to the upper uh, corner of your viewport, upper right corner, and just drag, and then you will have two viewports. In one, you can rotate like this and sculpt. In the other one, you will see it from one point. For example, if this is what you mean. And then, to close it, I think it was, uh, again, go here and just do this. Hopefully, this answers the question. But, let's continue with Rogerio. Rogerio or Rogerio. From Brazil? Yes. He's from Brazil. And let's see this one. This is uh, Chewbacca. Wow. Doesn't look bad at all. This Chewbacca looks pretty good to me. He's doing some figures for print. So this guy doesn't look quite well. I mean, yeah, the anatomy and the overall big head. He has a big head. Which makes his him look like... Uh, a dwarf or something. Also, there is there are problems with the anatomy, with those lines here in the chest. They shouldn't go there. They all should go through here. It's like a fan going to this point here. But yeah, little things, but it's visible that it's not quite well. So this, uh, I would say the design of it, it's not super nice. This is also not the best, but we don't know. If Rogelio is a kind of a beginner artist or he's young or whatever, we don't know that. This one looks pretty good. I would say even the face is looking good. So, yeah. Hulk. Okay, this is a, a 3D print figure. It looks okay, but those arms like this are looking ultra boring. Because all the fingers are completely parallel to each other. You have to... Be careful with those things. You have to make things more... Uh, you know, it could be like this in the real world, but it will still be boring. So, in order to not be boring, try to make the things more, you know, with action, with... Uh, but but I like the the feet and the, the legs. The chest, not so much. So, Rogerio has some nice things. But uh, probably some of them are not so nice. Yeah. What is this? What is this? This looks not bad, I would say. Yeah, pretty good. Uh, even pretty good. This one. This is from last year. But some of them, it's not, it, it's not consistent. This one looks kind of great. And this one looks kind of not so great. This one doesn't look so nice. This one looks good. So, it, I don't know what to think, you know, in this case. We have to be... I don't know. Nico, do you know a guy from Gamma Sofia that gave up the job and went to the mountain to live? No, I haven't heard about this guy. But it, it will be nice. Yeah, sometimes we are pissed with everything and we just want to go and... There are people in our industry, especially art people, who are very much, much introvert people. And they think they don't need other people, you know, to live and to be happy. And probably some of them don't. But usually, our brain needs social interaction. So let's see. This guy is obviously very good. He's from France. And he's doing great things. This is looking professional. Pretty much. We cannot say it's not. Because it is. This one is looking great, also, yes. 
this guy uh, strikes me as a as a real time sculptor who became a digital sculptor. There are people like this. Usually, that's not the case, but in this case, I don't know. Maybe he has studied. Oh, this one is so so nice, and the render is also good. Although we have some very black things, but even sometimes you can get away with this because we see the silhouette, we see everything, and it's just wow. I can watch this for a long time without getting bored. It's so cool. A lot of micro detail here and the pose, uh, overall, it's super nice. Yeah, I will uh, get. I will. It, it, it will be a tear here, you know. And the frog and everything. It's it's just a good portfolio. The guy is good. Let's see how much follow. How many followers does he has? He has. Uh, oh, let's follow him. He deserves it. He has less than five hundred followers. That's crazy. I mean, yeah, there are super underrated people in Art Station. And when I say that you have to become a good artist and then post in our station I mean you can end up like this guy uh, not having too much followers at some point that's why you have to advertise yourself in Facebook groups in other stuff you have to advertise your work when you upload something don't upload many things at once and one day in one day upload only one artwork and advertise it immediately after the upload in groups, in our station or uh, not in our station, in Facebook or whatever you can find some artistic groups with a lot of members, advertise it there. And hopefully, if it's good enough, it will catch up. Catch up. So we see here, we see Alex Shulo from Belarus, and he has made Smileman. No pain, no gain. Okay, Smileman is. Uh, my own concept and 3d but this is from one of my streams i've shown him it was exactly one year ago this is uh, of course from the arcane this is lobo from the course doesn't look so bad although the face can be better but still uh, he's probably learning he's trying and yeah good thing because he's trying it's it's visible that he's trying with the renders he doesn't put just a print screen uh, on our station or a whip or something he's trying which is great and he has to by the way i see here that uh, you have to put on your light if you're doing this in blender you have to put uh what was this shadow contact shadows you'd have to turn on contact shadows for your main light because here it's visible it's not turned on at least i think it's not turned on a contact shadow is very important thing but Alex is doing good so far. Let's see. This guy. Okan. I think we have seen Okan. This is not good for our station post. The ears are not very nicely made. And also the overall render is like not so good. The hair is made for like 5 minutes or even less. So it's those things are visible, and if you don't put enough effort, it, it's gonna be visible. So try to put more time into this. That's my advice. Just put more time. Otherwise, yeah. Can you make course how to make a website in HTML? I will do this. I will make course because I'm very good in Photoshop, and I was pretty good in HTML. So I can do both. I can do <clears throat> a beginner course in Photoshop. Why not? Uh, I was very good in Photoshop back in the days, and then I can do a beginner course in HTML. I can do a lot of courses because I can talk a lot. It's better to model clothing or sculpt it on the character's body. Uh, model them and then sculpt them. Yeah. Can you make an advanced texturing course as well, going all the way from baking to texturing? I think I've done that. There is a absolute beginner substance painter course that I have. It's not selling very well, but some people are buying it and they say it's pretty good, so you can try it. Absolute Beginner Substance Painter course. You can find all my courses in the description of the video. My Station, my Art Station courses store. My Art Station store, yeah. 
Uh, this one is cool. Do you think about Arcane Serious Style? Arcane Serious Style is pretty good. I don't like some of the characters, but it's cool. Nico, I see thousands of artists on Art Station, but I don't see that many opportunities. Does the market support the large number of artists? Yes. The better ones always have freelance jobs. Except if they are rejecting those offers. Sometimes people are offering me freelance and I'm rejecting it. Mm, it's either too realistic style for my taste or the payment is not adequate or other reasons. But, you know, sometimes this happens. That's the guy from Gameloft that went to Mountain to live. <laughs> Who knows? No, I don't know him. Can I rate my art station, but I'm planning to start sculpting. Do I have good taste or what are my mistakes? I don't know if it's allowed to share links, so I didn't. No, you cannot uh, share links in, in, the, in the chat. That's not allowed. But you can donate in the chat, that's allowed. But you cannot share links. And you can share links in my Discord server in our station portfolios. Eventually we will get to your portfolio because we were taking it one portfolio at a time. So let's see this guy. This monster seems pretty original. Let's see it. I'm very curious about it. Ooh, Omniman. It's, it's looking great. Okay, okay. Ooh, hands, poses. I've seen these things. I don't know where, but I've seen those, I think. Fingers mini miniature, miniature sets. Looking pretty good. Let's see this. This is from Spinosaurus. Spinosaurans. Saurians. Those are Egyptians, but dinosaurs. Pretty cool, I would say. Pretty cool. Let's see Omni-Man. Omni-Man, Omni-Man. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Yeah, one of the better stylized Omnimans that I've seen. Very good, Ibrahim. This is... Uh, it's kind of fine, but it's not good for portfolio, I would say. This is nice. Very nice. This is kind of cool, although the arms are a little bit too short, as you probably can see. So I wouldn't put it in the portfolio. This one is kind of fine, but uh, I don't know. The, this dark background doesn't make it look super cool. Probably with uh, a lighter background. Could be better, but this one is looking nice. Okay, Ibrahim is looking great. Let's see, Hector Avila. Hector. Hector is... Okay, he's doing manga, he's doing Invincible, he's doing some... Other things, a lot of helmets here, and especially this one, for example, and this one with the complete black background, and this one with the background which is kind of uh, taking the attention out of the character, we don't like them. So, yes, this one, in the thumbnail, we cannot see almost anything. So, probably nobody will click on this thumbnail because it doesn't tell a story, it doesn't give us something to to want to see, you know. So let's see it. <laughs> okay, it's an elephant warrior. This one, this render is better. These artistic renders sometimes are doing worse for characters than good. It's not doing them good. So, yeah, this is not the best character, but it's looking relatively fine. With a nicer render, it could look even much better than now. This one is, by the way, the face is not bad. The face is pretty cool. And the hair, I don't know about the hair. I, I cannot see it quite well because of the background. So be careful with the background. And usually don't put too much just print screens. Make a render, then make a render from three quarters. Make a render from a side view if you want to show the profile. Make renders, don't show it just with uh, print screens because it's it doesn't look quite you know people are uh, when they see a lot of things in our station they click only on the thumbnails that looks great that looks crisp that looks nice that looks worthy of their attention because these days attention to people is very expensive 
they pay attention to something for less than five seconds if they pay attention for something for less uh, for more than five seconds then it's it's a great thing for them uh, most things don't deserve more than like one or two seconds just to look at okay it's the next thing because attention span these days is very short that's why you have to make the best possible uh, contrasty and nice looking and colorful but not too colorful thing as a thumbnail so people can click on it and see your model that's my opinion let's see this guy which is artur kowalski and i closed it Okay, let's open it again. Artur Kowalski. Okay, this one I like a lot. This one is uh, 2D and 3D or only 2D. Ah, uh, this one is just drawn, but it looks pretty good, I would say. Yeah. Looks pretty nice. This one is also drawn. Yeah, but not bad. A project for school so i want to see more 3d characters because we see 3d uh you know appliances the idea is that i have started by doing these things 3d things like my desk and you can see that in my video about uh, how i started and my overall path in the industry but uh yeah, at some point you have to fill your portfolio only with things that you like to do and you want to do. So, if you want to be a character artist, you have to remove all of other things. Although this gun doesn't look bad at all, but it doesn't matter. If you want to do characters, fill your portfolio with characters. If you want to do characters and weapons, so put some weapons into your portfolio as well. But if you don't want to do weapons, don't put them in your portfolio. So that's just my advice. I don't want, I don't know this guy. I don't know if he wants to do weapons or not. But I'm saying, whatever you want to do, whatever you feel comfortable, or at least whatever you want, uh, you are feeling like a joy and happiness, and you just want to do it. Put that in your portfolio. Even if it's like uh, blood and gore and whatever, if you feel like this is what you want to do, you will do it better than anyone because you would probably put more time in doing it and more time usually means more perfection. That's usually the case, but we don't know. So this is the guy from Poland. Okay, let's see. These are some faces, but Tony Gonzalez has made some faces. Uh, okay, this is some weapons and guns. Probably some of them are from courses, but we don't see characters that much, so we cannot say a lot about this portfolio. This one looks cool, but let's answer some questions if you have. Nico, I see thousands of artists. Okay, we already see that. Uh, can you rate my art station? But I'm planning. Okay, we've seen that. I don't know. People are not answering. Uh, not asking questions. I don't know why. Mustache Superman, white and red. This is the superhero for today. Yes, so we have this guy or a girl, guy. He's called Moat and is from Rabat, Morocco, and he's doing great. This one is pretty cool. I would say that this would uh, be better with a little bit brighter background because now when I squeeze my eyes the shirt disappears a little bit and I like the contrast between background and the model now for example the hair is kind of lost if there was a rim light from the back which is making this kind of a silhouette this portion of the silhouette here appear and kind of pop up a little bit because we have a rim light from this side but from this side we don't and the hair is kind of lost and we cannot see the shape of it and it doesn't contribute to the overall, sh overall shape of the character because it's lost during uh, it's lost in the background so make sure your backgrounds are not so dark that's my advice for this let's see this one this one is quite visible even with this reddish background but usually not always but usually red 
bright red or yellow this kind of backgrounds are too much for characters you want your background to be a dull thing not something bright and you know you want your character to be the main thing so your background should be background it should be kind of a dull kind of a relaxed and by relaxed that's why my backgrounds especially lately are only blue ones because blue color in my opinion is more relaxed color red on the other hand is the opposite it's kind of exciting color so you are making your your background exciting and although your character is very nice the background is a little bit too exciting for this i would say just put a little bit of more light around the character in this background even but a little bit burn the background here behind her to make it more bright and probably it will look better but this is just my opinion so don't think too much about it Nico, do you like Radiohead? I don't know, but yeah, some songs probably. Have you worked in film movie before? Let me think. I don't think so. I don't know, maybe some of my freelances, but I don't know. I cannot remember quite well. I want to ask you in the which age you start character artist like pro. Oh, character artist, I start in which age? Hmm. So I was almost 30 years old. 29, I think I started as a 3D character artist. Around 29, so uh, relatively late. Nico, what languages do you speak? Already answered that. Uh, so you don't recommend to post face practices, even if you want to show different shapes or expressions. Okay, if you make face practices and you touch them quite well and then you make nice renders of them, then it's okay. But just making it and you're so proud of your work that you just print screen and show it, not gonna work. I'm print screen and showing all the time, but I'm doing doing it in my Discord server under the Whips channel. So I have a Whips channel. You can see it here, Whips, and I all the time I'm posting things, just print screen and post them because this is Whips. This is for that. So you don't have to make a huge render and everything. Show off, on the other hand, is more like our station stuff, finished, polished, and then post it because you know if you don't finish and polish it how can potential employer employees employers know that you can do the job for them and finish it and make it well eh, they probably won't wouldn't know let's see this guy this guy has a little bit huge arms especially hands especially the thumb is a little bit strange and huge Overall, it's fine, but uh, not quite. Yeah, probably the head could be smaller, but it depends. This is the Saitama, so the one punch guy. But this guy is young, I mean the artist, so probably he will learn. I like the render of this sword at least, yeah. This sword is looking great. But anatomy is not an easy thing. It's not an easy task. This also not bad. So it's it's fine. It's fine. But uh, yeah, overall advice for everybody is just look at your portfolios. Make sure you remove things that are not good enough. Make sure your portfolio even you know your portfolio is like ten pieces, and now your portfolio is here. Now your portfolio is here. When you remove the bad apples, your portfolio will go here even without any adding anything to it. So just by removing the worst things, the oldest, the worst things, you will bump your portfolio value because the portfolio is as worth as the weakest link and your weakest links, they have to go. You don't have to need, you don't need to have weakest links, even if you are attached to those works because you have spent some certain amount of work to do it you have to realize that no work is sacred and you have to just remove it if you need to kind of bump up your art station presence level up so, uh, to say you know you're the best man greetings from venezuela thank you i finally got hired as a character artist in games it's official congratulations that's cool nico how big is it i don't know ah the thump 
My thump is pretty big. <laughs> Nico, any tips on sculpting female arms? I find it hard to make them look natural without visible muscles. You have to smooth them most of the time. It's difficult. I find it more difficult to sculpt female arms than to sculpt bodybuilder arms. Because bodybuilder, you just have to know where the muscles are, which is not easy. But if you know it, and I know it, then it's kind of uh, walk in the park. Female arms, you have to watch a lot of references, especially for female arms. I know it's blowing your mind right now, but hear me out. Watch references of female arms in order to sculpt female arms. Mind-blowing, right? Uh, hey, Nico, how, how is the arm and hand course going? Any expected release dates? Not at all. Now, I am. I was planning to start it. I'm planning to start it in a couple of months uh, already, but I'm planning to start it probably after the new year because in the new year I have plans to go to Rome, Italy, Rome, to see the Colosseum, and mainly I want to see the Vaticana museums, museums, because this is important for me. I think there are a lot of things that I find I will find interesting there, sculptures and stuff, art, very nice. But yeah, this is for New Year, around one week. And until then, I probably will rest, I will practice, because this course about hand and arm modeling turns out to be not as easy as I thought it would be. Because hand and arm practices, I have to think of which practices I will do, how I will do the hand and arm. I will do a tiny, a skinny arm, I will do a super muscular arm. I will do female arm, I will do some other arm, I will do stylized arm, for example, and stuff like this. We'll see. I am not sure exactly. I have to, you know, fix things in my head in order to make the best course possible, you know. Yeah. Nice. Thank you. I agree. Maybe have some really good projects from scratch to superb render and sometimes practices with nice renders could work. Yes. Uh, looking great, Nico, going on a date? No, I am not going on a date, I have a wife. And I love her, so, yeah, thumbs up. <laughs> Is it worth learning ZBrush with add-ons that make it feel like Blender? I don't know, probably not. <laughs> I mean, ZBrush is ZBrush, and it's, it's a pretty cool software. It's not free as Blender, but it's better in sculpting, we may say. It's not uh, a question of, is, is it better than Blender in sculpting? Yes, it is, but it's not hugely better. Yes, it supports more polygons, but usually, especially in the beginning or for stylized characters, you don't need that much polygons. Mm, you can survive with less polygons, that's what I'm saying. So, yeah, ZBrush for me is not... Uh, I know it's better than Blender in sculpting, but Blender is better in many other things, and it's the best in one thing. Price. Quality to price. Because nobody can measure uh, quality to price uh, to Blender. Everything else is crap. Hi, Nico. You know shading and how to do it? No, I don't know shading. I don't know anything about anything. No, I don't know uh, what you mean shading and how to use it. What? What is this shading? Nico, how come you are so handsome? Hey, hey, nice to look at your streams, man. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm a little bit concerned when men are ho calling me handsome, but probably in some cultures that doesn't mean anything, except that they'll like me friendship-wise. I don't know. So it's cool. It's cool. Maybe because of the beard, you know? Because of the beard, probably. Why did you break up with your wife? Uh, this is sometimes in the future, probably. This is a question from the future. Maybe I will break up for, with my wife. Maybe I will not. Nobody knows. Still, I'm not. Nico, how... Uh, uh, and th she's not exactly my wife. In my culture, in Bulgaria, um, nowadays, it's not important to be married in order to have kids or whatever. I have kids. I'm not married. I haven't been married ever. But I have two kids from different women. Sorry. But that's the idea. We don't need to be married here anymore. In some cultures, you definitely have to be married in order to even have sex. In our culture, you, ha you can have kids or whatever, nobody gives a damn if you are married or not. So it's fine. Huh. I was taught at an expensive 3D course to show topology. Do you show topology? 
for finished models. You have to. If you make retopology, if you make a low poly, you always have to show your topology in order to show people that you can do low poly. And that's important. It's frustratingly hard to find work even with a qualification here. Definitely these days. And I'm saying that very responsible that 2023, uh, compared to 2022, it's more difficult to find jobs. It's more difficult to, fi to find freelancers, even for me. I haven't had a freelance in a month and a half, probably, or two months. I don't even have freelance offers. But of course, I know what is, why is this, because I don't post anything on our station. When I post something in our station, of course, there is always a little bit of a freelance peak. People are asking me for freelance uh, kind of a, at this time when I'm posting. When you don't post for a certain amount of time, people forget about you. That's it. Because you don't exist for them. When you post, they know you're alive. He posted. He's alive. He can work. So post often, but post quality things. And maybe at some point, who knows? It's very common in Japan to call someone handsome. That's cool. Do you ever do hair cards? Hell no. I don't like that. I don't like hair, you know. And hair cards. No. Would you recommend learning sculpting hair with hairstyle like Griffins from Berserk? Uh, Griffiths from Berserk. I don't know. Griffiths from Berserk. Hello. Do tips on how to make money with sculpture. Uh, that's difficult. I'm making money by selling my courses. Mostly, that's my income right now, selling courses. But in order to sell courses, you have to make good courses. In order to make good courses, you have to be a pretty good sculptor yourself. So, if you're a good sculptor, there are, there are a certain amount of things that can get you money. You can do freelance, you can go to a company, or you can sell courses, or you can sell figures. But, if you're not a good sculptor, none of this is available. So, first, become a good sculptor. Then everything else. Okay, let's see Felipe Viana. Uh, how much time do we have? Oh, we have to finish this. Okay, let's see uh, two more people. Felipe and the... Okay. The Hulk Hogan. We have a pig. He has a low poly, a turntable. He has even animation, which is not bad at all, I would say. And the weapons also. But this render here is the worst of all those things so this is the main render is the worst why so the main render is the worst because the render itself is very flat especially the face of the pig it's kind of a flattish we don't quite see it so spending time on the lights and the render and the power of this light and the power of that light and the environment light is it's a Sometimes a very, very long process. Sometimes it can take, take hours. Uh, it's not like putting some lights and render it and that's it. It's ready. Also, we don't have shadow on the ground. Shadow on the floor is one of the most important things for this type of character, which has a floor to step in. Also, the background overall is kind of uh, too much. With the writings and everything going on, we cannot concentrate on the character at all. Also, he has a lot of dark spots, especially on the legs, which is not a huge issue. When they are on the legs, it's not a problem. But still, the face is a little bit burned out and it's... You know, the turntable is relatively fine, although the face is a little bit burned again. Those runnings here and the turntables of those elements are pretty cool. And yeah, he has something it's not bad i would say but uh there are things that can be better okay this girl again the background too dark no contrast between the the girl and the background she is not lit properly and yeah i know you you want to show everything from modeling to rig models with animations and everything but render is a big part of this this render is better than this render because it's more contrasty more visible although more light on the face would be 
appropriate without burning the shirt because the shirt is white and if you put more light sometimes you can burn there, there can be burn marks burn means absolute white and absolute white and absolute black in the render uh, it's a kind of no-no there are exceptions but usually you don't want absolute black or absolute white in your renders you want everything in between this looks cool okay Let's see Hulk Hogan. Then answer a few questions and we finish this madness. Is it madness? I don't know. Probably it is. Okay, this is El Zombo from one of my streams. Ooh, Zombo Fantasma. <laughs> nice. All things done in Blender. Alright. Pretty cool. The, the anatomy is a little bit rough. <laughs> there are things that are a little bit too squishy. We squashed and uh, smashed. But overall, it's not ultra bad. It's cool. This one looks better than El Zombo. And with this kind of uh, interesting background. But still, there are some strange things going on with his muscles. He has some lumps. Maybe cancer. Hopefully not. But we have to be careful with these lumps. Also, his chest muscle uh, doesn't go to here. It has to go at least to the middle of the clavicle here but there are a lot of things like this and this is too much i mean yeah you can have angle here which is a right angle but to have some sharp thingies going out of his knuckles it's a little bit too much so over the top but the presentation i like this is some kind of a monkey but since it's not from my streams it's not that good as the other things so yeah so, another advice, if you do things from my streams, do only things from my streams because you are good at it. If you do things for yourself, uh, I don't know. Also, the shoulder here, it seems like, you see, the shoulder muscle is attached to the chest muscle in here, which is never the case. The shoulder muscle usually is attached to the clavicle. The front shoulder is attached to the clavicle here. And in your case, the clavicle is up here and the shoulder muscle is attached to here. So, anatomy, learn it. At least, learn it a lot. Because, <laughs> yeah, anatomy is very important. Anatomy is very important and very hard. I'm studying anatomy since I was 20 years old. I'm 42 now. So, for 22 years, I'm studying anatomy. On and off. I'm st I was studying from BAMAS. I was drawing from BAMAS. I was then studying from... Um, from other, from uh, YouTube videos. I was studying from life. I was trying to draw people. I was trying to understand the muscles and forms and shapes of everything. The human head and the face and the, the body and everything. And at some point, I kind of succeeded and I become became a little bit better. Now I'm a lot better, but still I have a lot to learn. So, anatomy is something that you learn all your life, maybe. So, we'll see. Hi Nico, do you know shading and how to do it? Okay, doing haircuts, hi Nico. Low my unlucky day. Why unlucky day? I closed the uh, this by the way, why not? Ah, Dennis, because uh, he's here. Okay, Dennis, we can go through your portfolio also. I can uh, you know it can be your lucky day, why not? <laughs> my lucky day. <laughs> Dennis, you saved yourself. You saved yourself. Okay, let's see what's happening here. This uh, I like this kind of uh, dwarf. Yeah, the dwarfs usually I wouldn't make them so thin. What do I mean by that? He's very fit, and his arms, in my opinion, dwarfs have to have a bigger bone structure. So his arms should be thicker overall. But that's that could be some kind of a. Uh, you know, crossfit dwarf or whatever. But I like uh, the pants, especially here in the back, those folds are looking cool. The anatomy is it's fine, it's fine. It's a little bit too much for a dwarf. I mean, it's it's he's too ripped, but I like him. This is one of the good things in this portfolio. Let's see this Popeye the Sailor Man. Yeah, the face is a little bit too flat. Probably it's because of the lightning, but yeah, when you're making uh, a lighting, 
when you light your characters to make a good render, you have to be sure that the lighting is looking good for your character. Because here, the face looks pretty nice. It has shapes and forms which are cool. Here, they are like more flattened. They are not visible that much. So, be more careful. This is like a metal sculpture or whatever. Casting in silver, really? Very nice. Wow. It's really casted in silver. 18 centimeters of silver figure. Wow. That's impressive. That's impressive. Let's see this guy. Not bad at all. I would say nice stylization. Good render. Mm, you have a pretty cool ambient occlusion in this render, which means that's cool. This one is not good. This one is uh, just like a print screen, but this one is fine. And the model is cool, so yeah. Uh, this one is looking good. This wolf is uh, relatively, but not too much. I would remove it because it's visible that not so much time has been put on it. And those are some uh, very cool rings, by the way. This is jewelry. Is it real? Probably not, but it's looking very nice. Hummingbird bird ring. So, jewelry designer. Mm, very cool, very cool. Let's see this all. Alright, this all looks cool. Yeah, uh, maybe a little bit more work on the feathers, but I know it's meticulous work. It's Especially in this area here, you see, it's visible, it's just... You know, ah, let's... Let's go. But here looks fantastic. I don't know. It's it's not like this. There is more work has been done after casting or what? Because those feathers look amazing in the casting. Yes. But is it done after the casting or before that? Tell us. Tell us, Dennis. Come on. Or Dennis has left. He said, this is my unlucky day and he's left. And he's now crying somewhere. No, Dennis, please tell us how is this is done. Because it's very, very nice. The 3D model itself is like, okay. It's pretty cool. But this one with all the detail and uh, it's, wow. After casting, okay, okay. So it's a lot of work after casting to get into this kind of uh, amazing detail. So Dennis... Great works, my man. You are a real jewelry person. I have made the, the course with Captain Fennex. Captain Fennec. Captain Fox, I call it sometimes. Yeah. According to the course. Exactly. That's good. What is meant by casting? So usually, uh, how you do those things is how I would do it. For example, is... Uh, 3D print this in uh, in some kind of material which can evaporate. Then put the 3D print inside a sand, special sand, which is very, very tiny and it can compress very well. And when you put it in the sand and put some things in which you can pour the metal, some tubes, then you put it in the oven and you bake it in a big temperature. Then the 3D model will evaporate and it will leave just a crevice with the form of this all, for example. And then you pour the metal. Of course, it's not exactly like this because probably this is also... Uh, is it... Um, it shouldn't be a whole thing of pure silver or, you know, it should have inside uh, a cavity. It should be hollow inside, I guess. And how did they make it hollow inside is a little bit beyond me. Probably they are pouring the metal, then they are rotating this, but it's difficult. I don't know how exactly is the process. I have done things like this, but a little bit simpler. So, yeah. Ooh, we have this here. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, but this we, we end this we end this with Dennis. And goodbye, everybody.
Thank you for your cooperation and nice words for my handsomeness especially. And my shirt. This was the shirt that I chose just to wear today at home and I decided to not change it while doing the stream. I usually want to, uh, to, to wear a little bit more interesting t-shirts like uh, orange or blue or even green, but I don't have green, which is a mistake by the way, but wish we'll fix that. Okay, bye guys.